I'm uh, L. Ryan Smart, a, a sports medicine specialist with Syracuse Orthopedic Specialist. I'm going to talk about shoulder injuries. Uh, shoulder injuries are a very broad topic, and I, I tend to think about them uh, based on age. Younger people typically have a traumatic injury, such as a fall or an injury with sports. Older people uh, usually will have more of an overuse uh, injury. Two of the more common traumatic injuries are shoulder dislocation and shoulder separation. A dislocated shoulder is where the ball physically uh, rips out of the socket and uh, needs to be a lot of times put back in place in emergency room and whatnot. A lot of soft tissue damage is done. A shoulder separation is where the shoulder is injured at the AC joint and that's right where the collarbone uh, meets the shoulder. Uh, both those injuries typically can be treated without surgery, however occasionally the more severe injuries do need surgery, particularly dislocated uh, shoulders that become recurrently unstable where they continue to pop out of the socket. Uh, older uh, athletic injuries are typically overused and almost always related to the rotator cuff itself. Two of the most common ones are shoulder impingement and rotator cuff tears. Shoulder impingement is really an entity where the rotator cuff pinches against the undersurface of the acromion, which is one of the shoulder bones, uh, and really irritates those two surfaces, causes a lot of pain, a lot of inflammation. Uh, and it can be a dull ache in the shoulder, and it can get sharp with certain positions where the shoulders really pinch in uh, together. Usually that does well on its own with physical therapy, maybe a cortisone shot, but occasionally needs surgery to deal with. Uh, very commonly, uh, the rotator cuff can sometimes tear. Uh, and the rotator cuff itself is actually a series of four muscles that help steer the shoulder and keep it uh, in the socket and help it, help it be a healthy joint. When it's injured, it'll shoulder will ache, it'll hurt down to the elbow, nighttime pain, whatnot. Uh, rotator cuff tears can be either be partial or full thickness. Partial tears usually do well uh, with physical therapy and anti-inflammatories and maybe even a cortisone shot, whereas full thickness tears a lot of times, particularly once they become symptomatic, uh, need to be dealt with uh, with surgery. And a lot of times that involves uh, arthroscopic surgery to repair the torn tendon back to uh, the bone and that that's a that's a fairly long recovery sometimes that can take easily from three months to six months sometimes all the way up to a full year uh, to fully get over